Hello again. In this video we will be looking at how to change broken tiles like these common non-interlocking small plane tiles. In order to keep this video short I will only be showing you how to replace this type of roof tile but if you need instructions for replacing interlocking tiles, hanging tiles or roof slates like these links will be provided at the end of the video or in the description bar. In this video though, we'll be replacing these simple non-interlocking tiles as seen on millions of roofs around the UK. Now, let's talk about the first problem you may encounter, nails. In large areas of the UK, it is traditional to nail every third row of tiles, leaving two rows of tiles unfixed. And with the power of Photoshop, we can see how that might look. OK, so now we have a general idea, let's see how we would remove a tile that isn't nailed first. Here is a close-up of a plain tiled roof, and for the sake of demonstration I will be changing this brightly coloured tile for a darker coloured, better matching tile. The best tool I have found for this is a good quality flat pry bar, like this one, and links to these can be found in the tools section at the end of the video if you want one. If you want to, you can also adjust the amount of curve in the bar to your own personal taste by hammering the top or bottom of the pry bar for more or less curve. Now, before we watch the video, let me just explain how I use this tool. First, the tip of the flat bar slides underneath the tile I wish to remove. Then, by gently levering down, the tile is raised so that I can get my fingers under the tile in preparation for removal, and this also allows the flat bar to pass further underneath the tile. In this picture, you can see that I've pushed the pry bar right underneath the tile to sit it under the top third of the tile. And if I use Photoshop to give us x-ray eyes just for a moment, you will see exactly what I mean. First, I'll reveal the rest of the tile that's hidden beneath the others. Next, we show the pry bar's position and how it will lever the top of the tile off the roof button underneath. Then simply pull the tile out. OK, that's enough theory. Let's see it done in real life. And replacing the tile with a new one is as simple as this. Let's just see this done again, with a slightly different tile from a slightly different angle. OK, what about if the tile we wanted to replace is nailed? as could be the case in a situation where every row has been nailed. If we just nip back to Photoshop for a second, we'll see how that's done too. This time, I've slipped the tip of the flat pry bar in the side of the tile. With X-Ray now switched on, you can see the nail holes I'm trying to work my way towards. By gently pushing forwards towards the nails and very gently levering the pry bar up and down, I not only work my way forwards towards the nails but also put pressure on them as well. This gentle rocking and creeping forward should pop out the nail. Just be a little patient and the tiles won't break. Let's see how this is done for real. a gentle rocking motion, working my way closer to the nail holes. There she goes, it's popped out. And as you can see, the nail is still in the tile. And here comes the replacement, simple. Before we finish the video, just one more detail to cover. What happens if your replacement tile happens to be slightly wider than the gap left? And this can happen quite often in the case of these handmade clay tiles, for instance. As you can see here, I've just fitted a handmade clay tile, but it hasn't seated correctly because it's too wide. And if I just swing the camera down to take a quick look, you'll see what I mean. Now, there are two easy methods to fix this, so I'll start with the easiest first. If you just lift the tile slightly, the pry bar can be slipped between the edge of the two tiles. Push the opposing corner against the other edge of the tile and it pops into place. Now for another good method, 
but this can be a skin trapper, so wear some gloves if possible. This time I'm lifting both tiles into the air. When I can get my hands underneath, I can form a pyramid shape with both tiles. Then just press the top down and the tiles force themselves into place. Done. Well, that brings this video to a close. And if you want to know how to replace slates, hanging tiles or interlocking tiles, click the links provided here or in the description bar. I hope this has helped. Thanks for watching.